Hey guys, in this video, we are going to do question number 11 from NCRT exercise 8.1. Now, this is a, a different kind of question. This is not same as the remaining questions that we have done till now. Okay, it's, a, it's based on a different kind of concept. So, let us first understand the concept which is used over here. So, let's say for example, if I take a right angle triangle, Let's say this angle is 90 degree. Let's name the triangle also as ABC. So the side which is opposite to this 90 degree vertex, this side will be known as hypotenuse. Now we have studied that hypotenuse is the longest side in a right angle triangle. So if I talk about the length of this hypotenuse, it will be greater than the opposite side also and it will be greater than the adjacent side also. Hypotenuse is the longest side, right? So length of the hypotenuse will be greater than this side also, opposite side also and adjacent side also. So this is the concept that we are going to use. Okay. If hypotenuse is given in the question as less than adjacent or less than opposite, then that statement is false. So for all the five parts, you can use this technique and you can get the answer whether the statement is true or false. So let's check the first part. So in the first part, they are saying tan of A is always less than 1. Now what is the definition for tan? Tan is opposite divided by adjacent. Now let's say for example, this is a right angle triangle. This angle is 90 degree. This angle is A. This is B. This is C. So this is the opposite side, right? Opposite side is BC. This is the adjacent side. Now they are saying uh, tan of A is always less than 1. So this quantity is always less than 1. That means if I consider this to be a true statement, then opposite side is always less than adjacent side I will get. Now is this true? Is it true that opposite side is always less than the adjacent side? No. Opposite side can be greater than adjacent side also. It can be less than adjacent side also. But if we are talking about hypotenuse, hypotenuse is always the longest side in a right angle triangle but out of adjacent and opposite any one can be greater any one can be lesser okay so there is no concept like this so it might be more than one also right in so many places you might have seen the value of tan of a is equal to 4 by 3 there are so many questions like this so it can definitely be more than one so this statement is false now second Second is sec of A is 12 by 5 for some value of angle A. Sec of A. So sec, what is the definition? For co Sec is reciprocal of cos. And for cos, the definition is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So this will become hypotenuse divided by adjacent. So hypotenuse and this value is given to us in the question as 12 divided by 5. That means hypotenuse is 12, adjacent is 5. So in this question, hypotenuse is given to us as less than adjacent side, right? Since the numerator is more than the denominator, that means hypotenuse is greater than adjacent. And this statement is true. So this is possible, right? Hypotenuse is greater than adjacent. It is possible. Now third part. Third part is cos A is abbreviation used for cosecant of angle A. No, it is not cos A. It is cosec A cosec of angle A. So that is cosec A. Right. What is the name for cos? Cos is nothing but its name is cosine of angle A. Cosecant is cosec A. Now cot A is the product of cot and A. No, I told you, right? It's not the product. It simply means when you are writing cot A, it simply means you are taking cotangent of angle A and not the product. Fine. So this statement is false. Even the third one is false. Now fifth one. Fifth one is saying sine theta is equal to 4 by 3 for some angle theta. Sine theta. So what is the definition for sine? Sine is opposite divided by hypotenuse. And this value is given to us in the question as 4 by 3. That means opposite side is 4. Hypotenuse is 3. Is it possible? No, right? How can hypotenuse be lesser than opposite side? Not possible. So this is false. So understood all the true false parts. If this is clear, that means 
first exercise is full done now you can uh, watch the next video where i will be teaching the trigonometric ratios of some specific angles so till then take care bye bye